Hello friends, welcome back to our channel networktips.in and today I'm gonna show you how to run EVNG on Mac M3 or any Mac which is having the Mac silicon chips be it a M1, M2 or M3. So let's get started. So I'm using uh, UTM as a virtualization manager. Let me quickly download it for you although I have already running it on my Mac. So I'll give, provide you the link to download so you can quickly do it. Just go here, download, that's it. And the other thing which you require to run EVNG is the evng iso image so i'll quickly download that as well so i'll be using the community edition for that so most probably it will be here yeah so this link okay guys so i think the iso image is downloaded Let's quickly configure the virtual machine. So I'll use the UTM as I said. So let me open the UTM. Here we'll go and click on the create new virtual machine. Then on this we'll can go with the custom one as well and with the Linux one as well but I will prefer to go with the custom one and here I will select a boot device as a CD or DVD image and here I will select the image which we just downloaded so this is the image which we just downloaded I will select this image to boot and let's continue here you can select this particular architecture and uh, you can define a RAM over here how much RAM do you want for EVNG so I can go till 8 GB so and the recommended one is also 8 GB for EVNG so let me go to the 8 GB also and then CPU cores I am raising to 2 you can keep it as per your configuration whatever you like so we can go ahead and select the storage this is the storage that will be used uh, to uh, copy the images on EVNG platform so here I want to use somewhere 100 GB so I'm gonna select 100 GB and continue then share directory path is same I'm not changing it I'll rename it to be E2 let me delete this and Eve 2 so here we go everything is set let's save this file so here we go with the e2 file let's quickly open it so here you will get the option to install evng community edition i'll go ahead and click next it will take some time to boot for the first time and then you will see the text like this so let the boot process start and then we can continue
Okay, so after the installation, we can see the machine is starting, and once the machine completely loads, you will see the screen like this, where the ENG default root password is mentioned, and it is generating some SSH keys for login. So let's wait a while and click enter. Okay, so here we got a prompt to login. Let's login with the username and password as root and eve -E. hit enter and yeah okay so here you again need to enter the root password the password will not be visible so just type eve -E. and hostname is the same i'm not running it to a dns domain name i'll keep it as a dhcp I'm not putting any NTP server IP and it will be in the direct connection and click OK. Okay, so now you can see below it is mentioning that creating the SSH to RSA keys. Let's wait for a while. So again, it will restart the VM. So just need to wait for a while. So it approximately took somewhere around 25 to 30 minutes to completely install the EMG. So at first boot it will take some time to be patient. Okay, so now we can see the login screen as a root. Let's quickly login again. And here we go. So I'll, I am on a Mac system, so to check the IP addresses, I'll type the IF config and hit enter. And we'll be able to see. We are getting some warning messages, so just, I'll, I'll do it again so that we can see. Okay, so now let's quickly check the IP address. So as we can see, it has installed network card still 9. So I have set up the DHCP on pnet 0. So I'll quickly go and check IP address on pnet 0. And here we can see the IP address assigned is 192.168.64.6. So this is the IP from where we will log in. I'll quickly go and check 162.64.4.64.6. Sorry. And here we go. So I'll do the admin. So logging into the GUI, the username will change to the admin and password will remain same as. Let's quickly make a test lab to show you that it is working. Here we go. I'll add a virtual PC as it is already installed over here. We'll run that. 
and try to take the console. Okay, so it is started. I'll click on open item, will allow this. Dismiss the tip. <laughs> and we can see then virtual PC is running and we can take the console. I think that's it for this video and in the next video I'll try to get few images of the EVNG and try to install it on the same and yeah we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching have a great day ahead bye bye